Yeah, I want to go over a little trick, uh, just kind of an experimental thing. Uh, say, for instance, you want to try to put um, more iodine in your body. And I know you could take this, like, topically, and it does get absorbed into your skin after a while, right? But say you want to take the fast track. Now, I'm doing this experimentally. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing this, but uh, I'll give you the example here. I'm going to take, say, my arm right here, right? And uh, we're going to take some of this, and uh, we're going to put it on my arm. First, we're going to set this camera up. Okay, so we'll do it this way. We're going to have my arm right here, and uh, we we'll take some of this, put a little bit of iodine on there. Now, what I'm going to do after I rub it in is I'm going to put a little coconut oil. You see, this is uh, now I heat this bottle up just a little bit because it doesn't flow that well out of it, it's just parachute coconut oil. The reason I'm putting the coconut oil, this will get absorbed into the bloodstream too because what I'm going to do. Um, is because what I'm going to put on here could dry the skin out a little bit. It's called DMSO, dimethyl sulfoxide. Uh, the guy that actually found out this was a very good arthritic formula, was in, but not just for arthritis, though. It's for a number of things. Um, what happens is, if you put something on your skin like that, this iodine, what will happen is um, the... When you put the dimethyl sulfoxide DMSO over it, it'll absorb the iodine directly into the bloodstream. As a matter of fact, this goes directly to the bone. That's how wild it is. See how it disappeared immediately? That's actually in the bloodstream. They were thinking about, you know, when this first came, well, when this was first, they were using this with, um, uh, in conjunction with uh, organ transplants and stuff, heart transplants, and, you know, I'm talking about it, professional surgeons. That was Dr. Stanley Jacob of the Oregon, state of Oregon, um, heart and organ transplant clinic back in the early 60s. <coughs> and he found out, you know, I wanted, he wanted to try this. He tried it with arthritis, inflammation. It worked great uh, because it goes, absorbs directly into the bloodstream all the way down to the bone. But at, at, they also found out whatever you put on your skin, and you put that over it, it'll absorb it directly into the bloodstream, which could be good and bad. I mean, in other words, if you put some uh, motor oil on your skin, you definitely don't want to put this over it because it'll put that right into your bloodstream. That's bad. So that's why you want to make sure your skin is clean if you ever use that. But, um, and I'm not telling you to do this. I'm telling you I'm doing this. It's like experimental stuff. I don't think, I think it's all legit though. I don't think it's uh, any problem because this stuff is actually, uh, most people in this country, um, depending on who you talk to, uh, what expert you talk to, between 70 and 90 something percent of people in this country are way short on iodine. That's because they took it out of the bread, for one, and they're also doing these low-salt diets. And what happens is with a low-salt diet, it means you're not getting as much iodine. They've actually took it out of our bread, too. It used to be in our bread supply, uh, along with other trace elements. And uh, the Japanese, for instance, um, they have a lot more iodine in their diet because they have a high seafood content of their diet. Uh, one cheap way to get it is to kind of just put this on your skin topically. It will absorb into your skin pretty quick. Um, eventually, but if you want the fast track, that's the way I'm doing it. I'm not telling you to do it that way, but I do know that this stuff does dry out your skin. Um, not radically, you know, after a period of use, it's not too good. It could dry your skin out. So I use a little coconut oil on it, you know, because you could dry it out, wrinkle it or something maybe. So I use a little coconut oil. And a coconut oil being absorbed into the bloodstream is sure not going to hurt, right? And anyway, anyway, so uh, we got the cat. This cat's coming by here. See, hi, cat. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, I figured to pass on this tip. A lot of people aren't thinking about it. Um, I don't want to say too much about this product because there's a lot of devious uses that some other people do with it. But <laughs> I am not going to mention those here. <laughs> I shouldn't say even that, but. Yeah, I guess that's why. Actually, for a period of time, DMSO used to be illegal. For um, Originally, I think it was because it was too much of a threat to the pharmaceutical industry. 
But the sports industry, whether it was legal, it's legal now. I think it's legal everywhere in every state. I know it's definitely legal where I'm at. You can, I bought this on Amazon, I think, or eBay. It's not, it's, no, it's not illegal. It was illegal for a while. When it first came out, it was the big rave because they thought, hey, you know, instead of putting uh, injections where we have to use needles, we can put the medicine on top of the skin and put this over it, and it'll go right into the bloodstream. But now they got, like, oral tablets people can take and all this type of stuff. Anyway, so, um, the other thing was, um, and this is kind of like conspiracy 101 stuff, but I think there's a lot to it, actually. The other thing was, this stuff was so cheap because it's like a a, a byproduct of uh, the paper pulp industry. Uh, It should actually be way cheaper than even what I pay for this, like, because not too many people are buying it. It's not a common product that's well known. Um, it's actually a byproduct of the paper pulp industry by the ton. It's DMSO dimethyl sulfoxide. It comes from trees. Um, this canister might be 20 bucks. You know, it should really be about a dollar if it was really popular, you know, if everybody was buying it. Um, the other thing was, um, it was supposed to be, it's so effective on joint pain, inflammation, arthritis, in many cases. Uh, you can, like, take herbs um like arnica montana um comfy leaf things like that maybe the coconut oil and put it on your skin and put this over it and it absorbs right into the infected area it goes directly into the muscle the sports medicine industry even when it was illegal it was legal at first and it went illegal for a while then it went, now it's legal again as far as i know just about everywhere um, even when it was, while it was illegal, the professional sports people were using this stuff left and right because it worked so damn good. That's really why it never, it never, it, that's why the product basically survived, um, through the grapevine because people like professional football people that had injuries in their shoulders or knees, inflammation, this stuff worked like a miracle. But, you know, it's, it's, you got to make sure when you put it on the skin, it's very clean. So what I, my intention was to get that super absorbed into the bloodstream real quick. And I used a little coconut oil, which is fine to get. You can take that orderly. It's no fun, problem to have that in the bloodstream. And, uh, you know, it makes me think about vitamin C, too. You know, maybe that would be a wild thing, but I'm not sure how you would do that. But uh, just figured I'd pass this tip on. It's something I'm doing. I'm not telling you to do it experimental more or less but it's not really experimental it's been done a long time but not very well known but i don't like telling people this is the thing to do because uh do it at your own risk but to me i don't know I, i've tried this out a bunch of times over the last week or so and it seems fine to me so no problem here <laughs>